Hey guys, and welcome back to NBA Knowledge. Today, we're going to be telling you about the best dunks in slam dunk contest history. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with our latest releases. Let's get right into it. The slam dunk contest is always the main event of NBA All-Star Weekend, as some of the league's most athletically gifted players take center stage to show off their hops and creativity. Let's take a look at some defining moments of the slam dunk contest, with a handful of the event's most memorable jams over the years. Let's go in chronological order. 1976, Julius Irving from the free throw line. Okay, so this is from the ABA slam dunk contest, but it still can't be left out of our video. Dr. J's iconic dunk from the free throw line was the first of its kind when the legend pulled it off in 1976. Since then, it's been mimicked a few times as a staple of the slam dunk contest. nineteen eighty six Spud Webb's three sixty dunk. You can find the three sixty dunk I'm referencing at the thirty four second mark, but do yourself a favor and just watch the entire clip. At 5'7", Spud Webb is the shortest player in NBA history to participate in the slam dunk contest, and he beat out his teammate Dominique Wilkins, a notorious dunker, to win the 1986 contest. Someone that small should just not be able to jump that high, it's that simple. 1988, Michael Jordan from the free throw line. Again, the dunk in reference is at the one minute mark, as Michael Jordan launches from the free throw line in a similar fashion to Dr. J back in the day. But it appears that Jordan gets even more air on his try. Jordan would go on to win the 1988 slam dunk contest against Dominique Wilkins in a showdown that many considered, and some still do consider, to be the best dunk contest of all time. Enjoy all of their dunks in this clip. 1991 D Brown's No Look Dunk Creativity and level of difficulty plays a huge role in the slam dunk contest, and D Brown checked both of those boxes with this one. No one had ever pulled off a no look dunk in the slam dunk contest prior to this, and nailing it on his first try gave him the perfect score. This is another slam that will be brought up every time a conversation breaks out about the best dunks in dunk contest history. 2000s Vince Carter's 360 windmill arm in the rim dunk. For a long time, this was considered, and again, is still considered by some, to be the best individual performance in the history of the slam dunk contest. Typically, you save your best dunk for last, but Carter brought out possibly his best in his first dunk of the contest throwing down a vicious 360 windmill to get the crowd going. He threw down another ridiculous windmill from behind the backboard, then it was the alley-oop through the legs that garnered his classic pose and it's over motion to the camera. The final blow was the classic arm in the rim dunk, which will be forever iconic. You'll never see an all-time slam dunk contest highlight reel without one, two, or all of these dunks included. 2003, Jason Richardson reverse through the legs dunk. To this point in history, we had seen a couple different variations of a through the legs dunk, but Jay Rich was the first to pull off the reverse through the legs. Increasing his difficulty off a lob to himself, Richardson earned a perfect 50 on this slam. 2008, Gerald Green through the legs in socks. Gerald Green had won the 2007 slam dunk contest and looked to defend his title in 2008. He would fall short to Dwight Howard, which we'll get to in a minute, but Green still had a handful of dunks that will always be remembered. One in particular, based off of the degree of difficulty, was Green throwing down a through the legs dunk in socks. Now everyone knows how slippery socks are on a hardwood floor. To be able to pull off a dunk like that without any real traction is incredible. 
2008 Dwight Howard Superman Dunk. As props became more popular in the slam dunk contest, Dwight Howard used that to his advantage with this Superman Dunk in 2008. Teammate Jameer Nelson stood well behind the backboard and tossed the lob over the hoop as Howard took off from just in front of the free throw line, caught the pass and flushed it home. 2009, Nate Robinson's Kryptonate Dunk. Taking props a step further the following year, Dwight Howard came out of a phone booth with his Superman cape on to perform the dunk. Later in the contest, Nate Robinson, standing in at 5'9", matched that energy with an all-green Kryptonate costume dunking over the 6'11", Howard. And 2016, every dunk from Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon. This is widely considered to have surpassed the 1988 showdown between Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins. Levine and Gordon threw down some of the most insane dunks you will ever see in your life. Creativity, difficulty, pure athleticism, it had everything. Enjoy every dunk from that historic contest above. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment something you learned from this video down below. Until next time.